Welcome to Windows 8.1 Lessons and this is Lesson 15 Using Email in Windows 8.1 So there are several ways of accessing your email accounts in Windows 8.1 The most favorite and the one that still works and if that's the way you actually use email it's still one of the good ways to use email is through your web browser so um, a lot of people have hotmail accounts msn gmail yahoo mail whatever online service provider mail you're using if you were in older versions of windows clicking your web browser and going online same works here all you have to do is click your web browser and go into your favorite mail account so if you go to your gmail you'll just uh, you know go to the Google page and click Gmail at the top and you'll have your email working or um, if you have an Hotmail MSN live account of course now it's Outlook you just go through the same process and you get your email box and everything works whether you're in the desktop version or the modern version doesn't matter if that's the way you've been using email for months or years uh, I think it's one of the best ways to actually use and what's cool is that it works the same so if you're used to uh, using the web interface to access that email then just continue using the um, web access with Internet Explorer or maybe you've installed another browser but whatever browser whatever way you're doing it uh, it still works the same and then you have a second choice and it's to use the modern or metro version of mail that is available in Windows 8.1. All Windows 8 machines have this mail installed. So it's either as a big blue tile on your desk, your start menu with a uh, envelope. Or if you don't see it, you just click at the bottom left, that little arrow. And you should see it in the sections of uh, your different apps. So just find mail. You can also go on the upper right side in your charms bar and simply search for mail through the little search and you'll see that tile with the envelope here appear. Now this is a email client. What's different and what does it uh, give you access to is a nice big interface, full screen interface with your email. But it also makes things easier on some options of your mail. For example, if you want to send through mail a link from Internet Explorer uh, in the web access, you'll have to copy and paste the link and put it in your message, which is not that difficult, but for some people it is a big task. If you use mail in Windows 8.1, it's going to get easier because now you'll have on the the charms bar an access to send uh, links through mail or even attachments. Uh, it's really, really simpler to use mail. And um, especially if you send a lot of emails, I think it's a great way to simplify things here. Um, if you started your Windows 8 machine yourself and gave an email address and logged into an account or a Microsoft account there's already one email address which is the one that you actually configured when you started Windows in your mail piece of software but you can add any types of accounts so if you want to add an account all you have to do is click the upper right side the plus sign and add different types of accounts but we're not here yet. This is going to be um, the way to do it in uh, lesson 16, where I'm going to show you how to add a Hotmail account or MSN account, how to add a Gmail account, and how to add a Yahoo Mail account in Mail. So the Mail interface is pretty slick, uh, very simple, but has lots of features. So uh, there's ways to actually manage folders on the left side and manage the different accounts that you might see, and also a way to sync all of that those messages. So whatever you're doing, 
this is one of the good ways if you want to simplify the tasks of sharing information from your Windows 8 machine with other people through email. I think adding accounts here are uh, interesting. It's an interesting way. And so check for lesson 16 where we're going to show you how to add the different types of accounts. There's a third possible way for people that are more into desktop. If you're more into a desktop experience and you want to actually use a, another type of um, mail client, uh, well, there's a third-party mail client called Thunderbird that's uh, made by Mozilla that's available and this one actually is a good uh, email client and will work with all accounts because one of the drawbacks of mail is the fact that it does not accept pop accounts now what's a pop account some uh, internet service provider emails actually need to access mail through pop accounts that's not possible in the mail modern version on the start screen of your uh, computer. They've removed that possibility in mail because one of the reasons I understand because it's an old way of actually getting mail and I understand that there are much better ways today like uh, IMAP for example. And uh, so if you want to use a pop account you'll have to use a desktop version of either Thunderbird and uh, to get Thunderbird all you have to do is simply go to the uh, you can uh, go to Thunderbird for um, your PC so you just go to uh, mozilla.org slash Thunderbird and you'll get to the download page this is going to be a desktop version of a uh, program you can also access email through if and maybe that's what you've been using for example in Windows 7. Windows 7 didn't come with any email client so people had to download something and a lot of you downloaded live mail 2012 which is I believe the latest version uh, so you can download in the Microsoft websites the uh, Live Essentials. So be careful, go to the windows.microsoft.com uh, and get Live Essentials. This Live Essentials contains Windows Live Mail, which is a email client, a desktop email client. The good news is that even though it's not officially for Windows 8. I've actually tried it and it works very well in Windows 8. So you can download the Windows Live Mail 2012 from this website also. So several ways as you see to access your email but uh, if you're like I said if you're using your uh, out Hotmail, your Outlook, your MSN, your Yahoo, your Gmail, or whatever other mail exists through the web browser uh, you can keep doing it and you don't have to actually configure anything else just launch your browser and go to your favorite um, email web page but there all there are those possibilities of having either the mail client on your start screen or you can have the desktop versions of either Thunderbird or live mail uh, these two clients are also working and uh, what as a tech guy here uh, one thing that I want to make clear is that the best way to use your computer probably is to actually use it like you did before I mean if you had a Windows 7 machine and were using Windows Live Mail why not download it and install it on the desktop of Windows 8.1 and use that client you're already um, it's already easy for you because you already know the program. So uh, I, I, I would say that it's better to use something you already know than start uh, you know, learning something new. But if you're curious or you want to use the uh, start menu mail version, well, why not? Because this is 
a modern, much, much better uh, in, uh, in a certain way, way of accessing your email. It's actually a great mail client and um, works fine with most, uh, e with the most email providers. And uh, so whatever you do, um, continue using your computer as such. If you're using um, your email through the web browser, then um, you probably want to skip lesson 16, which is going to focus a little more on the mail um, version of Windows 8.1. So uh, you might want to skip that. Or if you're using uh, Windows Live Mail, Thunderbird, you will also probably want to skip lesson 16, which will focus on mail. If you enjoy our lessons, subscribe to our channel. You will be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions, maybe suggestions, ask away. And hopefully you enjoy, why not share our videos with all of your friends that have new Windows 8 machines. You'll help them learn how to use Windows 8 to the max. And hopefully you will come back to our video site our, on YouTube, our channel on learning how to use Windows 8. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.